After years of anticipation, the US Securities and Exchange Commission has just given the green light to several spot Bitcoin ETFs. In this video, we're going to dive into the historic approval. I'll explain not only what a spot Bitcoin ETF is, but why it's so significant. I'll also unpack all the key details you need to know, like tickers and fees. So what is a spot Bitcoin ETF? It's a type of ETF that directly tracks the current market price of Bitcoin. The spot price is just another way of saying the current market price. If the price of Bitcoin rises by 5%, the ETF should rise by the same amount, subject to market conditions. A spot Bitcoin ETF will allow investors to buy and sell Bitcoin on traditional exchanges without directly owning the actual cryptocurrency in a digital wallet. So why is the launch of a spot Bitcoin ETF important? The first reason is recognition. While the approval of a Bitcoin ETF doesn't necessarily equate to full legitimization, it's a significant step towards a broader acceptance of Bitcoin as a viable investment choice. This could potentially pave the way for wider mainstream adoption and further integration into the traditional financial system. The second reason is accessibility. Previously, gaining access to Bitcoin was a pretty challenging process, with the primary method of acquisition being through a cryptocurrency exchange. The spot Bitcoin ETF now means investors can bypass the technical challenges that Bitcoin can pose, like self-custody, cold storage, and seed phrases. The final reason the ETF is important is for the impact it could have on the stability of the Bitcoin market. Bitcoin's volatility has deterred some investors in the past, but Bitcoin ETFs could be a major catalyst for change in that regard. In general, volatility may decrease over time due to increased market participation and liquidity. The reason for this is that the larger the size of an asset or asset class, the harder it is for a single transaction to impact the market significantly. Additionally, ETFs themselves often attract long-term investors, and with 70% of Bitcoin supply already held for over a year, the introduction of the ETF could attract more long-term holders, further stabilizing the market. The combination of recognition, increased accessibility, and improved stability could lead to significant inflows into these new Bitcoin ETFs over the coming years. Van X 2024 predictions suggest inflows of 750 million in the first quarter and 40 billion within two years. Additionally, parallels have been drawn with a 2004 gold ETF launch, which also sparked mainstream participation and saw a 350% increase in liquidity in the decade after its introduction. Let's now look at some of the key details. The SEC has approved 11 spot Bitcoin ETFs, which are set to begin trading on Thursday US time. You can see on screen here the ticker codes. It appears Van Eck and Valkyrie are trying to appeal to more of a retail audience, with humorous ticker codes like HODL and BURR. HODL meaning hold on for dear life, a famous acronym in the Bitcoin community, and BURR, a reference to the money printer goes BURR meme. If we turn now to the fees, there has been a lot of jostling and fee cutting by the providers over the past few days. However, we're beginning to see a clear range of around 0.2 to 0.5% per annum as a management fee with some outliers. It's important to note that some providers are also dropping or waiving fees for six or 12 months. Noting that all details are subject to completion and could change before the ETS begin trading as well as into the future. Beyond fees, investors will also be weighing up other factors, like the reputation of providers, existing relationships with providers if they have any, marketing, security, and liquidity. So that's all for now on the Spot Bitcoin ETFs. I hope this has been helpful and stay tuned for more videos like this.